In this episode of Puzzle Time, we have two brand new 3D printed Cryptex cylinders from a Canadian company, Canadian Designer. Check them out in this episode. Welcome to episode 102 of Puzzle Time. We are here. We've got a whole bunch of puzzles and a very busy episode for you today. Uh, so yeah, let's just show off. Let's show off a few different things here. But let, let's do. Let's start with this stuff here. We've got a Kickstarter coming up here, December 1st, here at Puzzle Master. That we're going to be kickstarting three brand new puzzles from uh, two of our favorite designers. These puzzles are called Total Eclipse, The Skull, and Quintus Extreme. Now. Uh, the skull is designed by Jerry Lou, which if you were part of our last Kickstarter, Jerry Lou did the, the Dirty Dozen and the Lattice Puzzles. And then Oscar van Deventer, a uh, Dutch designer, did Total Eclipse and the Quintus Extreme Puzzles. So uh, yeah, there's the boxes. I think the here. one that looks physically appealing the best to me, is I like this one. Quintus Extreme. And yeah, this one's cool. quite nice too though as well. Yeah, here, here are the puzzles right here. So we've got the thing here. You hold that one up. That one's hard to see. That one kind of is a little flatter. It looks like a coaster. Uh, we're going to be showing these puzzles off a little more in depth next episode. So tune in for episode 103. And we're going to be showing each of these off uh, and give you a little bit more information on that and tell you what the Kickstarter and what it's all going to look like. So again, that Kickstarter is running December 1st to 31st. Keep an eye out for it. Uh, you've got a little little bit of time before that starts. So there's those three. Put them aside over there. And then let's move on to another puzzle here that I want to show off really quickly. It's called the three peg. Uh, it's from MW Puzzles. And it's a puzzle that we got in here just as a sample. I don't know that we're going to get it here at Puzzle Master. But this is the puzzle. Uh, it's really interesting. You get this top uh, peg out and there's a piece here that kind of like screws in and out. You can screw it into that side. I tried playing with it a little bit, couldn't solve it, but there it is. It's made out of metal. It's pretty heavy. It's got a little uh, engraving there, or a little sticker that says the three peg. You can see that. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show that off. Again, from MW Puzzles, you can look them up on Google. It and, looks uh, similar to Will Stribal's puzzles. Yeah, it does. Kind similar of feel, feel to it as well, that yeah. weight. The it's nice, metal. it's well made. But let's get into today's puzzles. Wait, let me, we have nothing else. Okay. <laughs> Let's just pull both of them out. Let's just go right here. Okay, Linnea, you talk about these. You know more about these puzzles than I do. I was playing around with them a bit yesterday. So they're both Cryptex puzzles. Um, they're 3D printed. And so this one is... Wait, who, is who is it from? It's from Creative Workshop. Creative Workshop. Yeah. So this is a company in Canada, right? CA uh, was CA for Canada or California? No, Canada. This oh, okay. is Canadian from Ontario <laughs> here in Canada. So uh, yeah, we got these in. They are, I always love when we get Canadian designers on here. Yeah, yeah, there's not as many of us out there or not as many Canadians in the puzzle world, but they are out there. So. Um, well, Chris Ramsey's a Canadian. He's the one of the biggest yes, ones on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, but, Canadians got something going for us for puzzles <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, from Creative Workshop. Oh, yeah, this, you want to talk about that one first. So this one's called the Eye of Horus. Um, okay. It's a level seven. So. What's going on inside is there's ball bearings and I believe in this one, there's two tracks. I'm not sure if this one, I think there's just one level. Um, and you have to get- have, Both have ball bearings in them. Yes, that one has four and this one, it didn't say how many has. I think it's like two or three maybe. Okay. But you can see the one ball bearing right there. And that is the Eye of Horus right there. That you can see it on top too here. That's like that, I don't know if it's a Greek. I'm not sure what it's from. Some yeah. sort of mythological thing, but it's right there uh, on the top. And you have to get the ball bearings essentially to fall through into the center and then this part can lift out once you yeah. get the ball bearings to fall through. There's also holes right here where you can see the ball bearings will end up as well. I've seen them through those in holes. Like, in like the head here? 
Yeah. Oh, okay, so there's a hole there. So you can see them through, not as well as the other one because they're a bit smaller, but. And so this one's got like Egyptian hieroglyphics all around the outside. That's what it is. The eye yeah. of Horus is Egyptian. Jeez. Yeah. So yeah, there's Egyptian hieroglyphics all over. Apparently, now this one, this one does not say it. There is no clues on the outside of this one, but this one does have clues, it says, on the outside of the. Uh, well, I think because this one you can see so much more of what's going on. Like this one, I was solving it without using the cryptex. You can use the codes if you want to to follow the clues. Oh, like the stuff on but there. I was looking through the holes and you could actually just maneuver your way through without following yeah. the cryptex, like the codes on there. Whereas this one more, you would need to use the codes a little bit more because you can't see as much of what's right. going on inside. So that one is a level seven. So this one is harder. I mean, hence it being bigger too. Yeah. Uh, this one's called the Newton Puzzle. And it's obviously uh, based on the uh, Newton, the famous inventor, genius guy. Um, yeah, it's got a whole bunch of these codes. Now this one does say, uh, clues are embossed on the puzzle. You can see right here on this thing, clues are embossed on the puzzle as well. Um, it says, tools, it says to get a flashlight and Google. So, so I'm wondering if the, if you know math, math, like math really good, I wonder if those equal out to be something, with the numbers up here, right? Yeah, there's something solvable on this. Like, I mean, that's why it has so many numbers, so many like these equations. And then I think they're going to line up with like the Roman numerals on the top here. and going to give you some sort of like a position or something. Mm -hmm. And there's even like, I don't know what this is, 3311. Like there's different, different symbols and stuff all over. It's even got them on the bottom here too. There's more Roman numerals there, and then those line up even if there are more Roman numerals around the outside here. Yeah. So I figured out what's going on is these two can move freely until you have the oh, balls. Hold on, hold on. You're talking about two like cylinders? Yeah, the, like there's two different cylinders. These can both move freely by themselves. And then this one, the sept can move freely as well. But so once you three, have three cylinders that move in here? Yeah. But once you have the balls start falling through, then they lock into place. And then okay. you have to That's what I've felt from playing around with huh. it. So so there's a cylinder here on the bottom, the cylinder here, okay, let me just see what is. the cylinder right here on the top, and then there's another cylinder right, oh, excuse me, there it is, that one there. There's three cylinders. So, so this one only had the one part that, no, there's two. There's so this two, one's, yeah. This one's two again too. So there's a, a cylinder right there, and a cylinder right there that moves. Yeah, well, this is the outer layer, and then this is the center layer that you need. Once the balls right. fall through the center layer, this is what's left out. Okay. Whereas this one, I think they said both layers come apart. So you think with these, there's like tracks around the outside that the balls kind of roll in, and then you're putting them through holes in each of them. Like, yeah, I feel layers. like it's similar to this. Where yeah. It has tracks, so you can see the tracks in there yeah. that move, and then they would fall through, I feel like. But. See, the thing I like about this one is there's a little more visibility. Like you can see through it. You can see what's going on inside. And this one, you're completely, well, I guess there's still holes in this one. There's a hole there in the head. There's a hole there in the head. But with the dark color, it's hard to see what's going yeah, on. Yeah, This, this one is lighter and you darker. can see. And there's a lot more holes in this one. Yeah. Too, so. Hmm. Okay, so this is level eight on the Puzzle Master difficulty rating scale. It's a level seven on the Puzzle Master difficulty rating scale. So they're both cryptexes. Yeah. Newton, cryptex, and the Eye of Horus. And there is a decent space in there, they said, that you can give a gift in. Like you can, oh, you can hide store something. Stuff in there? Yeah, you can store stuff in there or give a gift to somebody oh. in there. So. Okay. So you could, like, I mean, this could be your present for somebody. You could throw a $100 bill or something in there. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on how generous you want to be. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so these, these are available on the Puzzle Master website, puzzlemaster.ca. You can go there and check it out. They're really good price too, like price they are. for being like 3D printed and the cryptex and stuff. Like that was what we were marveling as well. It's like for as nice and then well made as these are, they, they're surprisingly good price. So I would uh, definitely go go take a look at them, check them out. Uh, like I said, from Creative Workshop in Canada here, so support us uh, as Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's get into the online buzz. The online buzz. Okay, our online buzz is going to be mostly escape rooms today. Actually, it's going to be all Pretty escape rooms. exciting. It's all not <laughs> escape rooms. It's going to be escape rooms in a box. So it's going to be all escape room boxes. That's all we got. That's all we got today for you. So first, uh, is and now you'll actually you'll recognize a few of these companies. One of them is brand new that we've never seen before. Uh, the Nautilus from Adventure. So you've seen their stuff before. That's the Schrodinger's cat. 
And what was the other the one? Davy Jones's, Davy Jones's locker. locker, right? So this is their new one that they kickstarted. Now this Kickstarter is over, uh, but you can see a bit of the puzzle on Puzzle King. Now he's one of the, I think it's Japanese, right? I think he's Japanese. Yeah. Yeah. He's one of our Japanese YouTubers. Now you can go check him out. Uh, we'll throw a link in the description. But uh, yeah, Puzzle King has a little bit of a, he does a whole episode on the Nautilus from Adventure. And then next is, do you want to talk about, you talk about Escape Bell. So this one was actually pretty exciting. It looked probably the most aesthetically pleasing to me, called the House of Dragon. Mm -hmm. So now they have no, three other boxes. Yeah, that's the three other ones. They so got... they have, we carry, this. there's a space box, the Fort Knox box, and the pyramid puzzle. Yeah, the pyramid one. But then they had another one too that we didn't carry. It was the orbital. Yeah, orbital something other. It is on the box. Kickstarter if you see it there. Yeah, yeah. you can get. So. But they all have... I think the skate belt has 24 days left on the Kickstarter. So from when this will well, post, it'll be 10 days left. Yeah, it's, so. well, it's, yeah, it'll end December 5th. Yeah. So yeah, kind of 24 days from when we're, from when we're shooting this, but uh, you guys got to figure that out when you're watching this. So December <laughs> 5th, 2021 is when yeah. that Kickstarter will end. We will, uh, one thing I should say, actually, we're going to have, probably going to have all three of these on our site. So guys, if you like these and want to order them, like we can, you can get them all free probably from us. We're still working on the last one because we just found that before we shot the episode today, but we're definitely going to get an escape belt and we're going to have the uh, Nautilus in, um, in here at Puzzle Master. So you can get them from us. But um, yeah, House of Dragon, I think I thought it looked pretty cool. It was, yeah, it was really interesting. They went, yeah. did really well on that one. I found it hard to tell what all happens in the puzzle they show off the puzzle they kind of show the pieces but i'd like to see some of the movement in their videos and i didn't see that in these so i with i think with all of them they didn't really show a lot of movement in them so uh but puzzle king definitely does show that in the nautilus so if you want to check that out there um house of dragon i, I like i couldn't find any information on them other than the, the kickstarter so and then the last one that we, we've mentioned this there, this is a brand new one. I actually found it because I went to Kickstarter and I was trying to find the House of Dragon and I just kind of stumbled upon this one. So it's called, it's from, a, I actually don't know if this is the puzzle or the company name, but it's called Hunt a Clue. Yeah, Hunt a Clue and it's on Kickstarter. Go check it out and they have, yeah, again, this is one of those ones where I, like, I, it was hard to tell what the puzzle actually does. Like, I mean, I, it's hard. It looks cool. I thought it looked like a really good design. Uh, again, it's going to be that like laser cut um, plywood or whatever, um, kind of like what these other ones look like. But uh, their Kickstarter ends December 7th. And um, I think it's about 26 days from when we're shooting this. But yeah, go check them out on Kickstarter, hunt a clue. And like I said, we are going to work on trying to get that one in here at Puzzle Master because we like it. I thought it looked cool. And it's just something new that we've never seen before. So yeah, that's three new escape rooms in a box uh, for you coming up here in the next month. We're going to be having them here at Puzzle Master, hopefully. So yeah, keep an eye out for those. And uh, yeah, and if you don't know what these are, you can also check them out on our site. We do carry some of them in yeah. stores. So yeah, and Escape Belt and um, Adventure have lots of videos on YouTube. So lots of the YouTubers have done and their stuff's out there and they're really good. They're, they're often, I find, I find these puzzles for the amount of puzzle you actually get are a great, great price, price point on, on most all of them. Uh, yeah. So we'll see what Hunted Clue ends up coming in at. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't even know where they're from. So who knows? <laughs> don't know much about them, but keep an eye out for that. That is the end of Online Buzz. Um, yeah. So you guys can go to our website, puzzlemaster.ca to find out, find all the puzzles or all the puzzles we've talked about today that we are going to have available. And you can sign up for our newsletter there. Linnea, where else can they find us? Check us out on TikTok and Instagram. Um, you can check out our short videos if you want to see different solutions, mm -hmm. just different fun little things. And uh, yeah, YouTube, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and uh, click the bell to get notifications when we put on new videos because there is always new stuff coming out. Uh, and check out the new series that we got going with uh, Gregory from, um, oh, I'm forgetting his name now. And then... Puzzle Wander. Puzzle Wander. There we go. <laughs> Gregory the Puzzle Wander. He is shooting a new episode for us called Puzzle Insider. And I believe that episode two will be out at this time. So keep an eye out for that Puzzle Insider. And Gregory just talks a lot about what's going on in the puzzle industry. So check that out there. Uh, on our YouTube channel. So thank you guys for watching. See you later. <laughs>